Yo, John, Splatoon, is, bro. Bro. What is that, you about to say right now? What play, bullshit? Play, not, I'm not going to say right no now. bullshit because the game, I like how the game looks. It's just, okay. I'm not a, first of all, I don't play shooters, right? That's number one. That's my number one, right? Okay. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, let me try this shit out. You know how that little test run that they gave you, the demo or whatever? Yeah, so they gave you, oh, you downloaded the demo and tried it yeah, out. Yeah, I had it before. So oh. I tried it out. I don't know why I have no, to. Turn, turn off the motion control. How, how you do that? How you do that? I have to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it because I want to play it. I want to play it because the drip on that shit lit, bro. You can get, you can get them little niggas lit. You know what I'm saying? I got the, my nigga look the fire. outfits. The outfits are uh, also fire. like they also boost um, your your stats. I was looking at stuff. Yeah, I With had certain, to look shit up. Pieces Before of clothing I play might a game, make you faster. Certain pieces of clothing might make you jump higher. Like Before I pay sixty dollars for a game, I had to look shit up. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I, I'm I'm actually surprised that you downloaded the demo. I, I had I it think, because I didn't think he was gonna go through all that. Nah, because I, Splatoon two, I I was like curious, but I'm like, eh, whatever. I have Splatoon two. I'm not doing that. But then Splatoon three, 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 three. Oh my boy. god, Splatoon three! Two, <laughs> it's crazy. Splatoon three came out, and I'm like, oh shit, this shit What's looks kind of dope. Oh, it's coming out this Friday, right? Uh, the ninth. So next week, or next week. all right. So next I need week. to buy that shit now. But yeah, it's coming out. So I'm like, all right, coming cool. out soon. Cool. Let me see what it is. So I'm so I'm, I'm out here, like testing it out. I can't even play the demo for real because they stopped it. Oh, because you you were having an issue with the motion control. No, no, you no go, they, they stopped the, the demo itself. I can't go into it no more because of they they were just doing uh. uh oh, splat. they just had the beta yeah. just for the splat fest. For that, yeah, for that, that one. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they did the same thing for the Mario shit. I never even got to play the demo for that either. But yeah, I got, I got also, I got Mario Strikers. We need to play that. So I, I have to buy the game, bro. I, I put myself that, on, on a it, on a buying game ban because I'm, I need to, I need to get the new system before I buy do, the game. Do some research on it because one of the major criticisms about the game is that the online multiplayer is trash. Bro, that's all I've been hearing. Yeah, is uh, that is it's trash. I already have, I already have the game. I bought it digital. Is what it is. I play yeah. it here and there. Like I heard, the I've, game I've heard fine, no, but... I've had, I've heard no good reviews about the game. To be honest with you, me neither. I, I want to get it, but I don't know if I want to get it for the price. Okay, <laughs> that okay. price. So I'll if I do it, get it, it, it may be on some like used Nintendo games. games never gone, you know so. damn well Nintendo games don't go on sucks. John said it right. <laughs> used, but but used, I can get you it do, used. No used for five dollars less. Used. It is still five dollars less, my friend. That's five dollars that's in my pocket, bro. You might as well get it new. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. If I can get it five dollars less for, I'm a, you know, what? five dollars goes a long way. Anyway, um, all right, yeah, I think we all here. So let's let's get it started because we are late. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> you good, my nigga? Sheesh. What? This, first of all, last, the episode before this, the episode before last, my voice was fucked up, so I couldn't it, do it. It was, it was. Last episode, I was eating, so I couldn't do it. You did it last week. So I got to come back with a fucking blast. What the fuck is going on? It's your boy, Mackie OMO. I'm here with my good brothers. We got the Razor Sharp Assassin with the Clipper and Johnny B. We also got Fresh Cut Daddy and Chris Bang. We got... <laughs> Welcome to John Rock. Out in the streets. The street. They call they it, call it murder. <laughs> In Shawnee. And we are the Paradise Podcast. Welcome to episode 50. Motherfucking. Who died, I, nigga? Yeah, Who the yeah, fuck died? Who the that fuck was not died? supposed to play. I meant to play. So again, welcome to episode fifty-six. Last episode, I got the the numbers wrong, so I do apologize. This is episode fifty-six, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start it off really quickly. Hopefully, breeze through this shit. What? You, excuse me. What you watch? Play? What you? What you doing? AKA the recap, and uh, I've been watching One Piece. Um, oh, I watched the Lightyear movie. Mm. 
masterpiece. That shit was amazing. Yes, sir. That shit was amazing. Yes, All the sir. people who were killing it, are, they're fucking trash. They're because women is, women's is kissing. That shit that was that amazing. That movie was amazing. Amazing. It was fun. Amazing. It was fun. It, and it, and it, it, was it funny. definitely tugs on the heartstrings. It, it had me. Yeah, it had the heartstrings plucked. I'm over here yeah. on the edge of my seat thinking what's going to happen next. He's everybody watched another everybody four watched years. It oh, everybody my God. It. Shawnee, I don't think has watched it yet. Shawnee, get the foot. Yo, kick this thing out. Kick this thing out. <laughs> you, can, you can't can even ahead. speak about this shit. This you can talk about here. it. Like, I'm nah, not planning to watch it. Here, bro. He said, I'm not planning to watch oh, it. I genuinely not planning to watch oh, it. You bugging. You bugging. You bugging. You, you have like Disney Plus. You can watch it for free. I know. You are wilding. Yes, I watched Lightyear. I watched... One Piece, of course. I've just been playing FIFA. Um, and yeah, that's all I've been doing. What did I do this weekend? I worked. Uh, what did I do yesterday? Oh, no, I was relaxing yesterday. I had a great time relaxing. Um, and yeah, that's all I did. Johnny B. Which one are you doing? Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe Get the this fuck out week. This week, I've only uh, got around to watching One Piece. Uh, I was very busy this week, so I didn't get a chance to do too much. Um, and then I only played Halo Infinite again. And then um, today, which barely counts, but today I managed to play a little bit of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I was hoping to finish. I was hoping to finish Diamond before Splatoon came out. It's not going to happen because every time I pick it up, I'm just so disappointed with how this game came out. And I'm just like, ah, it's taken me forever to just find the willing, the will to, to play this one to completion. But uh, so, yeah, that, 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 that's really it. Um, and the only thing I did was uh, attend and cut hair for a wedding that happened last week. How was the wedding? Was uh, and, it, and good? It, oh. the the wedding the the wedding was great, beautiful, and there was food for me, so oh, I was very lit. happy. Yes, lit. there was plenty of food for me. Um, but yeah, the wedding the wedding was very nice. Came out great. I was very right. exhausted <laughs> with uh, getting all the haircuts in and the and the amount of time that I did. But I was tired. Hold up, hold did up. It. Did it. Everything is good. That guy got some money cutting hair for weddings. Yes, sir. Anyway. It's Chris here, it's there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, me too. Me I've been there. watching um uh Bo- Bo- No, Jack. I'm not doing it, Shawnee. Fuck out of here. You don't even want to watch Lightyear. You don't get to tell me how to use the drops. This nigga's crazy. He must be on crack. <laughs> I've been watching Bojack Horseman. Okay. Um, I just been on that for a little bit. Uh, one of my coworkers told me to watch that, so I'm like, all right, cool. I'll give it a watch. You never watched it before? Nah, I don't watch American and like animation, animation shit. I don't. I don't fuck with that. Uh, this one is pretty cool. This one's pretty cool though. South Park uh, is hilarious. No, so South Park is hilarious. But the, this thing is like, I don't. I like things with stories. So if, if there's not like, like a story to it, I'm, I'm just like, whatever. Um, no, Bojack Horseman is uh, Bojack Horseman is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a story. Like I, I could tell. Like even if it's not nothing no, no. super deep, but it just keeps on going and shit. So I fuck with that. Um, that nigga's an asshole. Though. Fuck that nigga. Um, <laughs> uh, I I played the demo for Splatoon, and yeah, that that yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I've okay. been reading manga, the the One Piece manga, and uh, are you guys? I'm like and, three and the My Hero manga. It's Bro, yo, John, Shawnee, take take this nigga out the the screen right now, dog. This nigga, yo. nigga, why are you gonna come home, nigga? The fuck is you talking? Yo, about? chill out, chill out, chill out. Come, what's going on? I didn't say on? nothing. I didn't say nothing. At home, it doesn't mean anything. I just, uh, I'm you're, just, you're, you're done. You're done. Go away. You you're a done. bitch. You a bitch ass <laughs> nigga. The, the spoiler king talking shit out here. No matter. Your, your name should That's be not- Mackie OMO spoiler. Just <laughs> because I'm a spoiler, don't mean I, I want to get spoiled spoil anything. If you, you, guys, you Johnny, did, did I spoil yeah, anything? No, nigga, no, shut up. Did. Did. I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. We're moving on. Shawnee. All right, nigga. <laughs> Shawnee. 
go out and play with you. With you. Do it. AKA the recap. So, what did you do in Jam Rock? Boom, boom. Bumboras! I got to see a lot of family, eat a lot of food, go see some sights. I went to the Bob Marley Museum. That was dope. Like, you can't take pictures inside. So, it was inside his house, mansion in um, Kingston. So, it was pretty dope. Uh, what did I watch? Your family's so, like, in Kingston? Mm-mm. We're from Manchester in the country, but like we were in we were in Kingston for like the attractions. Um, what do I watch? Well, since I was there, I didn't watch anything. I but I did um I'll download I load high school high classroom of classroom. Elite. It's an anime about kids trying to get up to the highest grade, and it's just mad dramatic. But it was made at that time where the etchy is there, so John could be interested in it. <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking. One Piece notes. I heard Etchy and John the same sentence. And I was like, oh, wow. Your neck almost broke, nigga. That so, your neck yes. almost broke. Yes. <laughs> what what so, anime are we talking about? Classroom of the Elite. Classroom of the Elite. Got it. Yeah. The only reason I started watching is because one, my boy has been like spamming it because a new season just came back for it. But since I'm starting from season one, it was in that time where. They were like mad dramatic, the cool, the cool calm reserve. You don't know the kid, the main character archetype was popular, but that was, so yeah, pretty much that she Hulk when we came back. So, and I actually, because my nephews were like spamming the TV, I watched hunger games for the first time. I watched the first Harry Potter and I rewatched Lord of the Rings, which back as a kid, I couldn't appreciate the greatness as I can now as an adult. So that was very interesting. And then reading my hero, you need to stop slacking. They Fact. they they wallin'. One piece. I'm mad behind, so one I'm piece mad, mad behind, though, my catch up. One piece catch mad up, cute. Um I need to go back and read Tokyo Avengers. And then what did I well when I got came home, I got this in the mail. The My of Hero course. Academia. Um movie three. By the way. Yeah. World's Heroes Mission. And then this was the Walmart edition, so it came with the free fig pin. It's like Deku in his outfit, but it like it's glitter. So Bitch ass. I was like, I right, got one for me, and then this is the one with it. Like, still I'm give it to my dog. So, so. yeah, that's cool. That's nice. Pretty much that's that. Then cool. Pokemon Go and Samurai Warriors since then. That's okay, cool. perfect. All right, yeah, thanks, guys. Okay, um, glad we kind of got through that pretty quickly. That was great. Mm. So. Wait, I, I, I wanted to say some shit real quick about BDSP, bro. Bro, Go for it. what's the matter? I'm gonna tell you something. Pokemon. When trash I talk. when I see, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna trash talk this shit. But I trash talk this shit the first day this shit was announced. I seen this shit. I was like, whoever spends sixty dollars in this fucking game is a dumbass. Sorry, John. You nah, I dumb. bought it on sale. Oh, you better say, are you smart? Yeah. John came in with his defense <laughs> with the quickness. <laughs> <laughs> he said, like, nah, I got that on sale. $5 off, yo. Oh, no, 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 no. I uh, think I spent like $30 on this one. The, the the Pokemon that he was talking about, the the BDSP shit, that he can't finish because it's fucking trash. Uh, just because like the controls and, and, and everything, everything in just, the game is just like it doesn't. Once you know, make legends, once you make sword and shield, you cannot go back to that shit. I'm sorry. They, I feel like they thought they could get away with that just you simply can't. because it was a remake. They should have made it like Sword and Shield, and that's it. No, they, they I don't. I think that third party that studio party wouldn't studio. have been able to do that. All right, cool, cool, cool. that's true. They, All right. they, yeah, they we they were going. trying to put that game out and Arceus at the same time instead yeah. of just taking their time and doing one and then the other one. True. All right, go ahead, Maggie. My bad. I just needed to say that. No problem. Thank you for the announcement, Crispin. We appreciate it. Um, I'm not being sarcastic at all. Either. I know I you're not, but it wasn't an announcement. It's more of a, I don't know. I, don't know what the fuck. I know how it sounded. It sounded sarcastic. But this I nigga say, yo, it's me. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I, I, none of those words came out of my mouth, my boy. If I were to say, Crispin, shut the fuck up, I'd be like, Crispin. Shut the fuck up. up. <laughs> but... All right. Before we get dive into the topic, I do have like a little news thing that I just wanted to talk about. And you know, any chance I get, I'm a shit on fucking Sony. So I don't know if everyone has heard, but Sony is going to up the prices for their PS5. 
in specific regions. In specific regions. And none of those regions are in America, which is cool. I believe the closest one is Canada, which sucks for the Canadians. I'm sorry, John. Your your, your people in the six are going to have to spend more money on the five. You feel me? (laughs) But I just wanted to, like, kind of hear your thoughts. After this, after they had uh, dropped that, Xbox and Nintendo both came out and said that they are not raising their costs. And Sony's reason is because of inflation. So how does everybody feel about this particular thing? Let's just talk about this quickly so we can move to the topic. I just wanted to bring it up because, you know, I will. If you give me a chance, I'm going to shit on Sony. Wait, or place I, you give me a I, chance, I'm going to shit on these niggas. I never understood why they put prices up when inflation is happening because you don't get paid more money. Hold on. Why are you putting prices up if we hold don't on. get paid more money? I think hold on, hold on. No, no, one, no one say anything. No one say anything. No one say anything. I got. Wow. I never understood that shit. I never understood that shit. Oh, shit is going up because of inflation. Is our yeah. paycheck going charge up you more money. It, it, it's, it's going up in order to prevent people from purchasing it. So it's, it's to calm down the market in general. Like when, like, if if Just there wait, is less wait, of wait. something, then it has to cost more. Otherwise, you would sell through it and have no supply for anyone. That's dumb. So because of because resources. if you're not gonna have supplies anyway, it could, because if you put it up a hundred bucks, right? Let's say you put it up a hundred bucks, and people see it. Oh, it's only hundred bucks, and they keep buying it anyway. What you're gonna put it up six hundred bucks? That's stupid. It's how the aftermarket the works. works. Yeah, the aftermarket works that way. If, if people are still willing to pay four, five, six hundred dollars for Jordans and Yeezys when they come out, then so they're they're, then who, who, what's stopping well, Jordan or Adidas from first, first charging four hundred dollars per release from the jump? They're never. First of all, no shoe is going to be four hundred dollars like a Jordan or Yeezy. They're not going to be four hundred dollars off the. Uh, off rip. They're not going to be MSRP. Retail. You, yeah. you sure? Because when they do those expensive says, collabs, they are. Okay. But that's the, a combination of two sneakers or three. Exactly. Like if you're doing Louis Vuitton and Nike, yes, that shit is going to be mad money. But I'm talking about like, the like for instance, let's just talk about Dunks. And I know we're not a sneaker podcast, but I'm just saying this to make a point. When Dunks come out, they're like 100 to $110. The yep. lows are 100 The high tops are 110 Retail. Like if I were to go to the Nike app and I were attempt to buy them, they're a hundred dollars, hundred to one hundred and ten dollars. That would be a regular after pair. after like some lot. dickhead, after some dickhead goes and Box, buys like all the shit, and he goes and sells them on Stock X. That's when they're like six hundred. Yes. Yes. So what happens is, know, is if there is no stock you available, prove, you prove John's point though. You just did. How? If there's no because the the the. The demand exceeds the supply available. So when there is high demand for a product, then and the supply is low, the cost of that supply goes up. Mm-hmm. So it's, that's only that, because. Okay, I hear what you're saying. My only thing is, it's only because of these fucking dickhead retailers. I mean, resellers. 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 Yeah, resellers. Yeah, but resellers. But that happens. That happens issues. in traditional economies also. Because, you know, when you when you go purchase something from Walmart, for example, you're purchasing it from a retailer that purchased it from the manufacturer. So you're essentially buying from a company that resells products. No, I understand. I understand what you're saying, John. But what what I'm saying is like, okay, okay, let's put it like this then. So if if I work in Walmart, right? And you're paying me ten dollars an hour. I'm just putting in a number, right? And you put up almost everything in your store. That means you are making more money. Why am I not making more money? Because the cost to purchase those goods might have gone up Went on up. their end. Yeah, but so that shit wasn't even, so the cost, wasn't even so the cost. So the cost of my services should go up. It wasn't even the same. Unless, like, unless there's a law that says they have to, you know, you're gonna as a business owner, you're gonna look for ways to save money in any way you can. And but usually not a... paying the people that run the company is the easiest thing to do. 
but it's most the of the easiest time, easiest way to save money. I just don't have to pay you guys. There's no law that says I have to pay you more. But that, but so then I think, I? I think, I think that's when the economy goes to shit, though, because then we don't have money to buy anything. So you have an extra supply. So what are you gonna do now with that? You're gonna have and to drop everything extremely that's when the low. the prices go back down. That's when they go what, back to normal. What's what's happening is that it's sustaining itself right now, because the COVID is is a weird situation where people, most people, uh, were able to continue getting paid during a lot of that that's a lot of people were working from home there were a lot of people that didn't go anywhere didn't spend money didn't buy gas didn't buy lunch didn't do a whole bunch of shit and now there's more money flooding into the economy in different in different industries but at the same time it's hurt other parts of the economy where some people did lose their jobs some people did lose their homes some people did default on loans some people did have a whole bunch of things happen financially in their lives so there's so much of both that right now the inflation hasn't come back down because it's self-sustaining so we're approaching a, a a stock market crash and a housing market crash somewhere like around the fall september maybe october the latest but there's there's a lot of reasons why there's a lot of reasons why companies like I sony couldn't have said it might... any better myself christine couldn't have said any better <laughs> salute for all you motherfuckers that are going to hell i was actually nigga. gonna ask this nigga real quick we got a personal broogie <laughs> <laughs> yo pulling out pulling out the personal brugal i'm it's done with this shit nice. we're having a personal <laughs> broogie is crazy Tell you that, Yo, right, like, let, let, let's get into the topic. What, what's up? I was gonna say, let's look at right, look at, look at the cost of rent real, real quick because oh, we no, were no. we were talking about this. And me and Mac were having this conversation not too long ago. Like, look at how much rent is for most apartments, or at mm -hmm. least most apartments you would want to move into. Yeah, at this point, right? Like the only reason why people are continuing to raise the prices is because they're getting it. They're getting the money. It's there. There is somebody that's moving into new areas and paying the higher cost of living. So that I makes everything you. go up. And what did I say to, to respond to that? Do you remember? Give me what I paid for. That's what I remember that conversation being mostly about. Yeah, but that's not what I said after you said that. I said, I don't, I said, I hear you, but fuck them, Ross. What the <laughs> fuck is you talking about? It's just Bro, dumb, though. Oh, one bedroom in my apartment is like 1800 a one bedroom. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is insane. My nigga, oh, one we, bedroom. I posted some shit today. In 1973, people were making like $870 a month and on average, right? Yep. And their rent was like a hundred and something dollars. Yep. On average. So they took everything, averaged it out where every people, boom. That was the average. We're we making we're making on average a hundred and seven a hundred and nineteen dollars right now. But rent is eighteen hundred dollars on average. That's crazy. Right? Houses were were fucking thirty three thousand dollars. This is this is this is what happens when you have rampant capitalism without um regulation. So there's no government regulation over most capitalistic activity. And that is the reason why uh, we have Everything's stuff crazy. Like that, where the All costs right. are up and pay is down. Talking about uh, that, last whoa, one whoa, of our friends. Me, give me a second. Let me. Let me. Can I segue? On. Can I segue into this shit? Oh, but I have one more All thing right, to say before you segue. Because this is now another. Then you're gonna segue, nigga. You segue, nigga. So <laughs> that's, that's totally fine, bro. I'm trying to buy a segue. Listen, right, one last thing uh, before we move on. Um, as some people know. Joe Biden and them have said that they're going to take care of $10,000 up to $20,000 um, of your student loan debt and clear that shit. Cancel all that shit. Goodbye. How you I do just that? How he do that? How, how, how can we apply for that? The application doesn't open until like later this year. Right, there's cool, there's good. already information that's up that will walk you through it, and then when go the applications to... go up, you could submit your application. All right, cool. Say so less. If every time I go, I go Pell to the Grants, queue. you qualify for twenty racks. If yes. you did not receive any Pell Grants, you qualify for ten racks. All right, we gotta see. We gotta got, check. I got Pell Grants, so take them babies out of there. Anyway, Perfect. I just I just shit. brought that up 
just so people are informed, because I'm not sure if everyone has heard. I'm sure at this point everyone has heard. And as things become more apparent and once you get more information, excuse me, I will definitely be reporting it here. But the reason why, excuse me, ooh, excuse me, I, the reason why I brought it up, the reason why I brought it up was because um, I'm seeing a lot of, I, I think the funniest thing about this whole thing is how the Republicans have been acting about this and how the White House has been just clapping back on these motherfuckers. I think that's very funny. Anytime a Republican says, how can you forgive student loans? Like, what about them PPP loans? We forgave over a million for you. We gave, we forgave over $3 million of PPP loans for you. That shit. And it's the White House Twitter that is doing this shit. I think that's why it's really funny. So I just wanted to bring that out here. But Twitter is amazing. I don't really Twitter fuck is, with Twitter like that, but Twitter is amazing. It's amazing. But let's move on um, to the real thing or the real segment that we have today. Because, you know, as you can see, as you can kind of tell, all of uh, the topics that I've been mentioning about have been about money. Dinero. Money, motherfuckers. So I'm going to let Shawnee take over and talk about what the fuck GameStop is doing out here because them niggas is bitches. Bitch ass niggas, man. Yeah. So as per cheap ass gamer at video deals, video game deals on Twitter, GameStop return policies are changing starting September 1st. The gist of it is that the window of time of return is something is shorter or they won't take it back depending on the item. So now, like collectibles, you can only return them Within 15 days, if the collectible was open, you can't return it at all. Video games, if you get buy a brand new video game, you open it, you return, you can't return that at all. Um, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Apparel is 30 days. It, it used to be 30 days for everything, but apparel is the only thing that's 30. So they so basically made all of these changes and whatnot, and it kind of sparked a lot of conversation, especially on Twitter. People were saying, like, why, why do we even care who really shops at GameStop anymore and X, Y, and Z? I could just go get it from Amazon, Target, Walmart, etc. So they kind of sparked me. And I'm like, you know, well, how long is it before GameStop has to, like, wrap it up? Like, in today's society, there's nothing really there. Like, what, do, what, what purpose does the GameStop really serve? Aside from, like, the nostalgia factor, there's no more tournaments they don't hold there. When you used to do a pre-order, you would go there at nine nine o'clock, and then they would have a pre-order party going on. Um, they're not doing anything innovative to be relevant anymore. You have stores like Target that will price match you. So if GameStop doesn't sell on Sunday, oh, this game is twenty dollars off. I can just go to Target and price match and get it. Same thing with Best Buy. I don't Amazon. remember if Walmart does the same thing. Amazon don't even you don't even need to contact Amazon. Amazon sees they it and change their price immediately. immediately. And yep. so I guess it just made me think, like, what is it that's really, you know, what's keeping them alive? Like, is nobody's there's no need for GameStop anymore. It's the same thing that happened with Blockbuster when Netflix came around. It's just with, game, with Toys R Us in the U.S. because they still exist in Canada. They're gone. Um, what's, you know, what's really holding GameStop? What's keeping them here? Not to mention they closed down a good chunk of their stores last year. Even by me, I think I lost two of them. One of them was like my my regular primary location. So I was like, you know what? Let's discuss what the fuck. No, I, I I I agree with you. I, I I lost the GameStop. I used to have a GameStop literally down the street from my crib in East Orange, and during COVID, it was taken away. But I think it's just funny how um, I don't really have like a comment yet. I want to hear what everyone else says. But I think it's just funny how um, GameStop has decided to change their policies after everything that happened during COVID. Um, they were literally going to default and go out of business. People were betting their stocks on that fact. And what did the boys do? The, 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 the stock boys or whatever they call themselves do, they went and pumped the stock up and made people mad money from GameStop. So people had to, people were losing money actually by selling the GameStop's GameStop stock. Say that shit 12 times fast. So I just think it's very funny how, you know, even if the even if we the people do something for a corporation that we like, corporations are still gonna be are still gonna corporation. That's all I'm gonna say right now. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking about right now, bro. I would just say if I was like the head of GameStop, 
I would just be like, yo, we're going to be a used console, used game buyer and seller, bro, at this point. Because I'm not going to do that. Like, we're going to ex- um, inspect it, whatever, and have that. we also going to have the new shit, but our main priority would be, like, selling old shit, like old Nintendo's old shit, so you could collect it. Like, we'll find it somewhere. We'll hit up everybody, find that shit, bring it to our stores, so you could come into our stores and buy it or order it online. You know what I'm saying? I will switch up my whole selling process because I know you could buy new games in games in um Best Buy, Walmart, uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon, right? But it's hard for you to find a Game Boy Color in Amazon. You know what I'm saying? If I have a Game Boy Color in good condition and I could sell it to you, I would just go for that. You know what I'm saying? I, if I'm the GameStop head, I would just go that way and have like the 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 card the. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card battles that niggas used to do back in the day. Just have all that shit. Just have it all back. Have geeks get back to <laughs> getting together. Cause who who chills with your friends like that no more? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's not to say that it exists. If you go ever go to New York Comic Con, they have a whole section that's just like, yo, you just chill. You can play Pokemon. Um, the TCG Pokemon game, you could play Yu-Gi-Oh, you could play Smash. Like, there's a whole section of it. And I always thought that, like, you know, Toys R Us back in the day used to do Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. Like, that would have been something dope that GameStop could even do. But, and they don't even, you know, they could have done that. I remember when I got Halo, they had the pre-order part. They had, like, a whole um, six-foot Master Chief in balloons and shit. And, like, they would had food and snacks. And it was just, you know, like, that experience, something to make it worthwhile. But, in today's day and age, everybody's going digital too. Like, it's tough. Go ahead, cool. John. I know you so, want to say um, yeah, because I was listening and then I'm still doing my One Piece notes. I got a lot of notes. Um, <laughs> I got to remember like things to talk about. Sometimes, like I forget, like important shit happens. Um, I mean, GameStop is definitely losing its its footing when it comes to current generation game sales right because like like uh, shawnee was explaining earlier you could get something from target or you could just order it on amazon because amazon seems to be the most competitive when it comes to their prices or even walmart if you buy a brand new released game in store in, in a walmart in a store walmart. it's already i think five to ten dollars cheaper than it would normally be. So a sixty dollar game would be fifty dollars. That's crazy. So you know, like it, I know if, where I'm if, now. there you go. There you <laughs> go. Buy it physically from Walmart when it comes out, and it'll be cheaper than buying it online somewhere else. It, it's just, it, I think the only place that GameStop could lean into heavily is in the retro market. But the only thing that's difficult about the retro market is that it's not designed for stores fronts anymore. The retro market is heavily dictated by the resale culture that we have now, which has been heavily influenced by sneakers and other collectible uh, sale sale markets. Um, And, and, you know, you're not going to be able to just put a price tag on a, a Game Boy Color like Crispin was talking about earlier and then just sell it for that price tag. Prices are going to change constantly. So some something will happen that will make a particular game just go up in value. Somebody passes away, a voice actor passes away or the creator of a certain franchise passes away or announces this is the last one of whatever and then people are going to want to go back and buy the whole collection of everything before it things happen that influence sales and video games all the time and the only place that you're going to see real life change is like ebay where people are going to retroactively change the price of of what something costs because they're the ones that have the price so now like because of the internet and because of um the way that aftermarket business sales has has gone like you could just sell your own retro games yourself you don't have to go bring it to a GameStop and allow them to give you whatever bullshit credit they think the game is worth and then you take it or leave it. You know, like you could just sell it yourself at this point and it wouldn't even be that hard or that difficult. People are probably going to bid on it if it's an item that's worth bidding on and then you can make the customer pay for the shipping also. You don't even have to pay to ship it to them. So, you know, like 
they could lean heavily into the retro market because people would still be able to trade in games and stuff like that because there really aren't that many places you could do that anymore. But, you know, little by little, video games are going to go completely digital, like Shawnee mentioned earlier. Movies have already practically went fully digital. The only people that buy films are film collectors, people that are big film buffs that want to own movies they know they might want to go back and rewatch from time to time. Or maybe they just want to have it just to have it because they need something to collect. You know, Shawnee knows what that feeling's like. And um, he's fucking pops for no reason. Hey, listen, I got six hundred of them. He's not. He's not. He's not the other. Yeah. See, like, it's, it's look. I'm. I, I know what it feels I, like. I I I agree to an extent, but I think for me personally, it's time for GameStop to pack it up, man. It's over. They've already. They've. They're gonna have the same issue as uh, uh, as a uh, Toys R Us, where it's like there's no innovation. So and and GameStop is in a particularly particularly unique situation where it's like even if you were to innovate, will that innovation even bring you profits? Because yes, they can go into the reselling culture, but I feel like like what John just said, you know, the price the price will dictate on what happens that day. So if uh, someone that important died, the price could go up. The next day, the price is going to go back, or the next week or so, or two weeks, however long it takes people to get over that particular person's death. And when I mean get over, I don't mean like we forget, but get over as if it's not like just happening. That price is going to go back down. So I feel like GameStop should just go ahead and pack it up, finish. Like, you know, it was a good run. You beat, you outbeat uh, EB Games. It was great, but at this point, with the dominance of stores like Best Buy, uh, uh, Walmart, and Amazon, and and Target, it's like they're giving me good prices on these on these uh, games, and they're able to price match or even beat your price. And they don't have a terrible return policy. Do we even know why they're changing their return policy? Is there like has anyone come out and said anything about that? I would, I would assume. Let Shawnee answer. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, now that I saw it, was just mainly somebody had like a copy of the email. They shared it out and whatnot. I could just be the fact that like people are, you know, buying shit and sending it back. And it's really fucking up their bottom line. Like a lot of killed product. What happens is like the, that resale market is bad for the retail market. So what happens is, is like, you know, sometimes customers buy a bunch of shit. And then when they can't push it, they want to return it back to you. So you're losing whatever profits you would have made. Or what happens sometimes is, uh, you know, like the pressure is put on the people that work in those particular store locations. And if you get somebody that orders a fuck ton of shit online and then wants to return it in your store, that's a sale that the company made, but a loss that your particular store now has to take. So now your store takes this loss and your particular numbers have been hurt for the entire year, for that week, for that month. And your superiors are going to come down on you. Like, why are we converting more sales? Why aren't we selling more accessories? Why aren't we doing more pre-orders? Why isn't this looking like this? And then that's when you get disgruntled employees. The stores that like, stop performing. There's only like three people that ever work at GameStop for a whole day. I've never seen more than two people there. To be honest, with you, ever. because the, they don't got hours to give nobody. It's the store manager, maybe an assistant manager, and two sales associates, if that. That's my store right now. <laughs> and and but, the store manager okay. needs an assistant manager so he can have a day off during the week. Okay, 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 okay. So now that GameStop is like this, right? I, I'm gonna just put in a, in a hypothesis out there. If GameStop went through this, um, it's going through this. Toys R Us went through this. Uh. Blockbuster. Blockbuster went through this. What else? What else has gone through this? If you if you really Radio, think about it, Radio Chuck Shack, is not the coconuts. same shit. Yeah, Radio, Radio Shack Radio is not Shack. the same shit. Or oh, that's KB not even toys. here. EB what games. else? What else do you think in, in in a couple of years is gonna be gone, bro? Like gone, bro? Because we've ah. seen everything be gone. Like in our lifetime, everything has gone. I could see some shoe stores. Full, full locker oh, gone. Yeah. gone? Yeah, Foot Locker gone, gone. Baby. I don't Foot know. Actions, about Foot didn't, they, didn't Foot Auctions get shut? No, one of them got shut down recently, right? 
a few of their source guys should do foot action. Foot action, right? Yeah. But that that's underneath that umbrella, the umbrella that yeah. owns like Foot Locker and they own like Journeys and they what own about, Lids about, too, I think. What about Models and shit like that? Nah, Modell's, that'll stay. No, Models is gone. No, Models is gone. Models is gone. Models is gone. Models is gone, bro. It's gone. It's, it oh, wait, not- wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of this. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thinking this, of this morning, no, baby? <laughs> there was no way to say it. Wow, boy, that's Dick what you're thinking about. Sporting now? goods. Damn. Oh, God. Thank Thank you. You. Diablos. Kanya. <laughs> he said, I'm thinking of, he said, I'm thinking of dicks. But well, Sports yeah. Authority as hey, well. Sports yo. Authority is gone. <laughs> yeah, they're gone too. Sears and Kmart. Okay, There's but let's camera. let's let's answer Crispin's question. He That's said, "What, what, he store asked, think what gone? stores?" <laughs> and so we're oh, what them. store do you think will be gone in the next like five gone. to ten years? What will be Not gone? what stores have left, because yes, Models has has recently. My uh, a friend of mine worked at Models, and he he told me when his last day was, and he was like, "Yeah, they're closing down the whole store." And I was like, "Gotta go to Mo's." Bro, I remember going to in Little League when I was 12, buying a freaking baseball glove and mold. That was like the awesome. best feeling ever. Nah, for sure. Damn, yeah, man. It's over. And then uh, oh. they, they, fucking, they got Payless up out of here, too. Payless. Pay pay fuck out of here, boy. Payless. Pay pay fuck out of here. <laughs> I might agree, though. Maybe like. Foot Locker. Foot Locker like, about to be gone, might baby. Be next because well, they, everybody's using the Nike app. Yeah. Everybody's using the Nike, Nike app. app. Nike app, Adidas selling app. directly to their customer now. Why Why should they why would split I profits with the, retailers now? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Foot Locker might be next, honestly. Because, like, well, Foot Locker like, already got shot. shot. Like, Foot Locker, um, because, like, you know, like you said, Nike's selling to their audience. Adidas is doing the same thing. Puma has its own store. It's like, why would I want to continue giving Foot Locker shoes and splitting profits with them if I could just sell it directly myself? Yeah, directly to the people who want it. Because instead, you know, how do I explain this? Like, for for instance, like Puma is not the most popular shoe right now, and people who like Puma like Puma. So instead, they would wouldn't it be smarter to just sell that at my store, then sell it to a Foot Locker, and then pop, possibly lose sales in me selling it because my shit may not be selling in their store as much as it would sell at my own store. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it, but it all it all de- it all depends on uh, how much that company historically sells through their third party retailers. It might be a product that they know sells really well at a third party and not something that they feel like they want to spend the money to sell themselves. Cause you know, the, uh, when you own, when you have your own stores, that's, that's a big cost. That's labor costs. You know, that that's commercial costs, electrical costs. There's a whole lot of, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff that goes into that. Yeah. Cost but, it's costly. But since we're going into I, the digital, yo, listen to the way John is saying spend the cost. money. He's like, like cost. <laughs> But look, it look, like it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. Hey, okay. Fuck these companies. What the fuck? Is I'm saying this because I see. Yo, what the fuck, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this because in Japan, right? Let's, let's go. Let's go to the country where everything we like is built at. In Japan, <laughs> it's not true. Taiwan, but continue. not built at. I mean, created like you know what I mean. Nintendo, Taiwan. Pokemon, oh, anime. You know what I mean. Yes. Culture. Yeah. So in Japan, there was this, there was this big ass store that had um, like what's the call the the damn, I don't know you tell me the re- the retro gaming that you damn what's it called I forgot. We talking about the arcades. The, the big ass the arcades, the arcades. It was a, uh, it was a big ass arcade store, right? So this store would, would make hella money, but they shut it down. Because, you talking about Sega? Because people weren't going anymore. The Sega, the Sega, Sega arcade. Yeah, yeah, that um, shit was one of the most popular shit over there. But people stopped going. Even the people from over there stopped going. 
So it's they started like seeing, they started seeing a decline, and then I believe the one of the main issues was, was um, COVID. Somebody, no, I think some company was allowed to come in and purchase the building that it was in. Oh yeah, yeah they did purchase the building. I remember so they right. they they had the ability to just kind of like influence them getting the fuck up out of there. Jeez. So then, not only were they not making enough sales to be able to like justify like, being there, they just kind of got like squeezed out. They got kicked the fuck out of here. But yeah, and that's it. it. Yeah, those, that's it. those are things that were that, that's happening here. Like we we looking at shit and we're like, fuck, all that shit is going away and shit. To be honest, like we might not like GameStop right now because of the fuck shit they were doing. But back in the day, GameStop was the spot. But we we but needed a store for physical media. You exactly. need were back in the day. First of all, yeah, I think it's more to the internet is the yeah. reason why a lot of these stores are getting out of here because. You know, back in the day, we couldn't order something that could come straight to my house in two days shipping. We right. had to go to a store and stand it. But I remember I was. You and when could I buy there, stuff, but it, it didn't show up right away. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be at NJC and I remember, I think it was 2K13 or 14. I was yeah. in the Hudson, the uh, with the Hudson in the mall. mall. In the mall. Yeah, I was there too. I picked that shit up too. I ordered it. I went. I went up to work because I worked around there. Went up to work, pre ordered it. And the next week, I went to pick it up. Yeah, so like it was yeah, different. That. Even like ten years ago, where it's like paying for Amazon Prime may not be in the budget for some people. Whereas now it's like as long as you have Amazon Prime, if if you have Prime Video, you have Prime. That means you're able to pay for. It. So it's like I would say it's more of the internet's like the the, the, the growth of the internet. Has yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason some stuff. Why a lot of it's stores that, are the think of, and 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 Amazon. Because think Amazon about think about think about this. Huge. for a second too right um the big box stores target walmart places like that they sell everything right they sell fucking everything you're more than likely going to walmart to buy groceries mm -hmm. and then yeah. after you've done grocery shopping you 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 know you just you you can buy clothes. You're, you're unintentionally and instinctually looking at all the other fucking things you don't need but probably want and can kill two birds with one stone. So you're going to go and look through the You can kill like four birds with so one stone. You'll, in that moment. You'll, go, you'll go looking at stuff. Oh, let me check to see what, what how much this is. And you're buying shit for the bathroom. You're buying shit for the kitchen. You're buying the uh, 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 electronics in the electronics section. You know, you're going, you're looking at clothes. You're looking at the reason you went stuff, over there was to the get car. a box of eggs. You, you went, you, you went to get, you went to get a couple, a couple of, a couple of things for the house, some juice. Right. And you can't, you, you, you came back with half a compra. You came <laughs> out of there with, with a television, fucking a new fan, <laughs> a fucking new sneakers. Ah. Fucking, like, what the fuck is good, bro? So, like, That's you know, mo most of the time when you're going to go, to a supermarket, right? You're gonna go in person. Like, not everybody orders food for to be delivered at home. I started doing that recently, but even though I get groceries delivered, there's still certain things I gotta fucking go to the grocery store for anyway. So you're gonna leave your house and go to a grocery store. So the likelihood of you buying additional items at the grocery store is very high. So if you if you have access to a bunch of shit, you're more than likely going to buy that shit at the place that you do groceries. It would be easy for one of us who plays video games. Let's say it's one of us that plays video games as they come out to just easily go to the video game section in Walmart after buying the groceries you were going to buy that day anyway and picking up a game, paying for it with the rest of your fucking groceries and then going home to eat said groceries and play said video game. You know, but, but those time. dedicated stores are the ones that seem to be disappearing. Stores that only focus on electronics, Radio Shack, they're gone. Stores that only focus on cheaply made shoes, Payless, they're gone. Stores that only focus on, you know, uh, video games like, like GameStop and all of its competitors are, are disappearing. Toys R Us, toys R Us yeah. only focused on oh, toys and toys. entertainment. Well, they had a video game section, but yeah. They have video games because that's entertainment. They did, but they didn't do anything innovative. Why would I go buy a physical toy from there when I could order? No, from I think Amazon Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's what it was. That's what Toys R Us fall was. It wasn't that. It wasn't in a. It wasn't innovation as in the sense of not doing anything different. It was innovation as in 
they didn't have a good online website for people to buy. Well, and they did. They, they just weren't competitive. They they no, fucked I, up I, because I they got they got competitive good. too late. They got competitive yeah. too late because when innovative. the internet first became a thing, they didn't want to sell their products on the internet. They allowed Amazon to sell their products for them. Amazon will fuck them in. Let me start. In the beginning, that was how they had it set up. So you were ordering from Toys R Us, but it was being basically Delivered shipped by to you from Amazon. Not the Amazon that we know today. This is like early Amazon. Like, like Booty like, cheeks like, Amazon. Like they were, they were figuring it out. And they didn't want to innovate and do it themselves. They let another company do it for them. And then that company stole the online customer. So I'm already good at this. And I have competitive pricing. You have already bought from me, technically. Keep buying from me. And everybody's been consuming everything from Amazon. You Amazon need, you need, sells for everybody, too. You, you need a fucking sponge that's designed to scrub in between your toes. You're going to look up on Amazon. I need toe scrubbing sponge. Amazon got And you'll that. find that shit. <laughs> and you're, <laughs> you're going to find, find that it. shit. Yeah. It costs I'm, $7. Sure you know you're going to order it. And no, then, you did bro. And then it's Anything. crazy because Amazon, Amazon would have stuff that you could buy at Best go. Buy. From Best Buy, like you order through Amazon, but you're buying it from Best Buy, and Amazon does that transaction still to this day. They still do that shit. With who? Not Best with Buy. With everything. They do with it. everything. Because most everything. companies have, like, they, anything they have you Amazon get, stores. Nike yeah. has an Amazon store, and they will sell everything. their products there, and they will ship it. Amazon will do it. They're not, yeah. they're not trying that to lose. Correct. Amazon's still making money because they tax you on them. It's, but... it's, called, it's called an Amazon uh, FBA, fulfilled by Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, you, so you can still own like your products, an Amazon but... store. This is how like some entrepreneurs build Make like money. extra streams of income is they either purchase products from some warehouse somewhere that will house it for them and they pay whatever the fees are for that. Most and they of them do niggas, an FBA and they'll, most of them they'll sell go their products Alibaba. through yeah, they'll purchase from Alibaba. They don't even purchase it. They just put the link so you could so Amazon goes through them. So you purchase from that link, but they make a cut because it's it's crazy. It's crazy. You basically brought the customer to, to Alibaba. To so Alibaba, you make a cut. So Amazon everybody make a cut. gets everybody gets paid because they helped you do it. Yep. Alibaba sells it for two dollars. You sell it on Amazon for fifteen dollars. Amazon takes like six dollars. You take like you know what I'm saying? It's all that crazy. Shit. Yeah, stuff like it's that. It's crazy. So there's 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 ways there's ways for people to make money doing that. But yeah. Toys R Us fucked up because they let Amazon get in on a market that they should have cornered. Right, because a lot of people were skeptical about joining the internet boom. A lot of people didn't think the internet was going to catch on. A lot of people didn't you think. You don't remember Y two K? Yeah. So, so that there's a lot of skepticism there when it comes to stuff like that. Like, yeah, wow. people thought the world was going to end. The internet was going to implode. Everything, bro. What the fuck is wrong with us? <laughs> people always been crazy. People too. always nah, been crazy, bro. Yes, twenty twelve too. Been... But that was because of like the Mayan the Mayan calendar. calendar. So, I'll give people that. I'm talking about people. No, talk... my nigga. People, Yo, people, people were building shelters, bomb shelters, because they thought <laughs> the internet was gonna blow everything up when the clock hit zero 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 zero. Bro, motherfuckers is dumb, bro. Oh, you know, it, a lot of people have always been like crazy, that. nigga. They were set up for Y2K, and if you put it back certain, past a certain time, like my car won't go back to his normal. My car is six hours and thirty minutes ahead because of the Y2K bug shit. It won't, it won't automatically adjust because it passed with the Y2K. It was never meant to go past it, so I can't reset my car back. <laughs> like yo, I'm so tight. The only way to fix it is that I would have to go to the mechanic where I do it myself. And un- take the hook off the battery at exactly twelve o'clock for it to get to for me oh, to get it and back. kill it at the all. Oh so I'm God. like, I'm not. I'm, it. It off. I'm like, nope, I'm not doing no, it. That is ridiculous. That's crazy. I'm tight, yo. Crazy. Like, I, I, I not now. I was like, yo, I should be like, it's nine o'clock. I'd be like, three, three a.m. Three, no, four o six, and I'm just like, fuck. I'm six hours and thirty minutes ahead. Exactly. That's how I get, <laughs> get clocked my time. That's crazy. That is nuts. Like, like I said, people have always been crazy. People have always been crazy, bro. Nah, but the Y2K shit was insane, bro. <laughs> that 
that shit is insane to me. But my nigga, that, um, that's why I don't believe. Like when people tell me, "Oh, you gotta believe the text from back in the day." Fuck that, niggas been crazy this entire time. Mm-hmm. Like we, you could tell niggas is crazy right now when we have technology. Niggas is nuts, nuts, bro. I just, I just told crazy. you the Republicans. The Republicans over here talking about. Oh, how could you forgive student loans? And you like, just got forgiven for that? yelling money. How are you thinking Bro, about this right now, nigga? Come on, son. Like, are how you stupid? Really, you really going to look me in my face and tell me why do I want my student loans forgiven when you just got millions of dollars forgiven by the government? Because Shut your dumb ass up. And nigga, people are crazy. That's That's your, and then and then these and then these uh let me just I'm gonna just really rant real quick and then we're gonna get to the one piece. But then the, and then these boomers be like, oh, these millennials and Gen Z, they're so lazy. They want all their stuff forgiven. They can't pay for anything. Did you just hear what Chris Queen said? Back then, y'all niggas was getting two like you guys were making eight hundred dollars and rent was a hundred dollars. It cost you probably a thousand dollars to get a degree. Nigga, it's forty thousand now. It was a thousand dollars to get a degree. Three thousand. It's forty thousand, my nigga. An entire, you know an entire percentage? degree. Not a semester. Do you know how much of a percentage degree. that is from where you guys are paying? Yes, at that time you were able to work on nine to five and be good. Work a little overtime and be good. Be able to pay your rent, have pay food a house, house. Have pay pay for the house, have food on the table, fucking. Uh, 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 pay your student loans off and get a car. Have two cars and a crib. You don't think if I wanted two cars, I would I would do that shit? A part a part of the reason why uh they eliminated free tuition a long time ago um is because it's because of segregation. The people, (laughs) the 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 people in the White House at the time believe that um, Ronald Reagan and them. Probably under the Reagan administration. Most they, likely. They believe that uh, there couldn't be too many uh, college-educated individuals. Negros. Because what would, happen, what would happen is there would be too many overqualified people and not enough jobs to go around. That is the dumbest shit I have ever heard in my life. That they had to... They, 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 they literally just said that they wanted to, like, gatekeep who could get a college education to and kind that, of keep the balance. And that is the reason why the United States is a dumbass country. This is because the reason why this is the reason no, first. No, no, Crispin is 100% correct. We this dumb and fat. That's what we are. A bunch of dumb niggas that are this, fat. <laughs> and I know this is not a a uh, a, a political podcast, oh, but we have God. some political niggas in here. And this is why the Republican Party will be always the party of the past and they will never want to, people to move forward. How can you go and say that you want to d- make sure that only certain people can go and get student loans so no, nobody can no, go to just college, the college education? Oh, sorry. It was no one can go to college at, So you can't, at, you, at you need to pay for college. in California and New York. And they said and, that it was too and, many and people for, and for to those, school. And for those who say, why do you, are you trying to, Help us with our student loans. It's because of that motherfucker. Because that motherfucker didn't want us to go to school for free. That's the only reason why we in debt. Because the government said, y'all niggas cannot go to school for free because then all you niggas will be educated. Hello, nigga. If we're all educated, it's a better country, you dumbass. Before I get mad up in this Yes, I don't even I like talking piece. politics. I'm gonna forget a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to take good notes. Um, I mostly want to focus on like uh, not just the events that happen. Like I'm not trying to like be too recappy, but I want to just make sure that I get the important parts of the story and my take on that. Are you at so, episode 500 yet? I am on episode, and I'm in the middle of it, so I have started it. But I am on episode You're not 494. Yet. No, I'm on episode 494. My on the last episode, I was at 482. What's going on over there? I'm stop. Go. So on episode 482, that was when um, they killed Ace in that moment, and then it was to be continued. I'm broken. Yes. Uh, so they show they show. Yo, fucking Maggie is dying. This nigga yeah. said Hadouken. That's crazy, bro. Yo, I just, I just want to say that uh, something really, really, really coincidental and very fucked up showed up on my Twitter feed. 
uh, like right after I had seen uh, the way Ace died, somebody printed a label for a bubble tea. And it was that scene of Luffy holding Ace with the hole in Ace's back. And then that person put the bubble tea straw through the hole in Ace's back to drink the bubble tea. Damn, boy. <laughs> Y'all didn't see just, where this was and going? It, and it was Luffy's That's face. Crazy. And he's just like. <laughs> I'm muted, nigga. Yeah, so I saw that. Drop it in the chat. Like, drop it in the chat. You got to put oh, that in the yo, chat for sure. I, I'll, I'll look for it. Every time I see a donut, I think about Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. All right, I see I'm, a done, donut. I'm done. 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 They already given pumpkin donuts, damn. Yes, yeah. and it is fire. Nah. They got a blood orange. Them shit's always now. been fire. Them shit's always been. Oh, fire. I can't wait to get another one. Dunkin' so, Donuts. Man. All right, keep going, keep going, so keep going. Luffy, so, so Luffy is holding Ace after, um, you know, after after he gets stabbed through the chest, right? Um, Ryu style, apparently, and <laughs> and. Uh, um, you know, it, while he's dying in Luffy's arms, he apologizes to Luffy. You know, he says, um, you know, I'm sorry, Luffy, I, I couldn't make it all the way. Um, and then he tells Luffy to tell his fellow pirates, you know, the the message that he had for them. Um, and he apologizes to them, too, you know, for, for everything they, they all went through to try to rescue him just for him to not make it in the end. Um Luffy is completely broken by his grief and faints. Uh, and that is that is the ugliest scream I have ever seen in anime history. That was the ugliest scream I had ever seen. It was just like pure terror and horror greatness. and just completely broken. Like this, this, this woman's career is so epic and she also said recently and i don't know her name which is why i just keep referring to her as she but uh she also said recently that she wants to retire officially when luffy is done when one piece is finished she's she to go to for retire. that she wants to she retire to her that. her career um but yeah so far her career has been ridiculous so so like you know, it, it deserves a lot of praise. Her her portrayal of Luffy in Japanese is something else. Um, but Luffy Luffy faints. He passes out. Um, Whitebeard is pissed and unleashes his last attack on everyone. Um, and then uh, enter Blackbeard. Stage yes, black. sir. Yes, sir. Blackbeard shows up. Fuck that nigga. Yep. Yep. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And and he might have one of the best laughs in One Piece. I cannot lie to you. And and Blackbeard is uh is there to basically get in the middle of uh get in the middle of the fight and fuck shit up. This is his opportunity to take on uh Whitebeard, a very, very severely injured and on the brink of death Whitebeard. Whitebeard, Whitebeard regardless, uh does not back down from any of them. And uh, he does fend them off for a while and uh, and definitely puts Blackbeard on his ass and definitely puts some fear in him. And um, just because I didn't write it down off the top of my head, I don't remember how they turned the fight over, but I remember that um, the whole crew attacks Whitebeard at the same time. Oh, no, this nigga was scared. And then he told him, shoot this nigga. And then they all just started shooting. He was almost dead anyway, so it is what it is. So that, that they just ganged up on him. So they all attacked him. And uh and then Whitebeard dies standing up. But before Whitebeard uh takes his last breath, he tells the world that the one piece is real. He knew that on that stage being filmed before the world, if he could incite that same feeling that everyone had when Gold Roger was was uh, killed. Goldie Gold Roger, Roger, yes, I know. 
he even makes the joke in the flashback. They're calling me Gold Roger. But that's not my name. Yes, I know. Um, so he, he basically is recreating a moment like that and and inspiring you know newer pirates to kind of like move in now now that uh now that he's he's getting on up out of here so he dies standing up which everybody comments on how uh how boss that shit is um and during during the the battle jimbe rushes in to save luffy because luffy's just completely passed the fuck out frozen in time um, and while this is happening, Blackbeard is revealing his plot. I mean, he throws the black sheet over Whitebeard, and then he goes under the covers with him for a little while. And everybody's trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Yes, yes, Crispy. Is that not what he did? Hey yo. No, you're right. You're right. But going under the covers is crazy. Yes. Going under, the, I said it like that on purpose. It is I insane. Know, it's I insanity. Know, I know. <laughs> it Black is crazy. Beard was under the covers with white beard, and um, and then he <laughs> Curtis Bean's face, and then he 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 uh comes out with white beard's devil fruit power. So he reveals to everyone that one of his abilities is i suppose because they haven't even explained it that well yet is that he was able to uh i guess absorb white beard's devil fruit power from his body i'm guessing the darkness pulls the devil fruit powers in like he was saying it nullifies their ability to use it so he pulls so maybe he was able to just completely pull it out of Whitebeard's body and, and into his own. They say people comment how incredibly rare it is for someone to be able to even have two devil fruit powers to begin with. Um, so there has to be two potentially two things going on. Blackbeard could be a particularly special person that could just coincidentally be able to handle two devil fruit powers. And his original devil fruit power must be able to have the ability to steal someone else's devil fruit power without him needing to consume the fruit so there has to be at least two things happening simultaneously if there's something we don't know that is something we do not know is how he was able to do that shit in the yeah, first place still don't okay know. so i guess <laughs> there, are, guess. there are there are there are theories but, but yeah. we don't know even till yeah episode thousand and whatever we are at now we, we don't, don't know, know. Once we pull so, up to this nigga once again, we probably gonna find out. For so sure. Now, now Blackbeard. Now Blackbeard has uh, two devil fruits. He has the 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 dark dark fruit and the the, the quake tremor, tremor. the tremor tremor fruit. The dark. Yes, I know, Shawnee. The, the, he's he's the, he ate the dark dark fruit. And no, he's, he's a dark a man. Dark man. <laughs> he is a. He's a Yo, I, yes, I, sir. I, time, bro. When they be like, I am a, I am a, I am a, I, I, ate, I the ate the blank brush, blank brush fruit. fruit. I'm a brush, a brush man. man. <laughs> I'm a bristle man. He ate the dark, dark fruit. And now he's, he's a dark, dark man. man. <laughs> That's crazy. Who ate the light, light fruit? Not the light man. Um, Kizaru, right? Kizaru. Yeah. So Kizaru could literally beat this nigga. All right, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, is this character is funny? It's though. hilarious. Um, so uh, Blackbeard is able to kind of go a little deeper into his intentions the whole time. I was confused rightfully about why the fuck would Blackbeard want to be a warlord and then immediately just throw that title up in the fucking air by breaking into Impel Down. And he explains the main reason why he wanted to be a warlord was because of the privileges that he gets as a warlord, being able to just waltz his ass through the gates that they have at the different um, areas and to mm -hmm. be able to, you know, just kind of roam freely without being stopped. And his mission was to break out, um, oh, you know, to recruit enough. people from the prison impel that down. he could break out and impel down. Um, and then you know, use, use that to, to, I guess, take his onslaught, I guess on Whitebeard in general, I guess he was going to come for Whitebeard anyway, because that was his, his old, 
pirate captain. So he's going to want to take him out being the most powerful pirate in the world at the moment, you know, in order for him to cement his spot in the top of the pirate world, he would need to take out Whitebeard anyway. So he just took advantage of Whitebeard being at mm-hmm. Marineford and injured and all and things happening with the war of the best. They didn't yeah. call it the war of the best until it ended. I just want to throw that out there. Cause I remember when I was talking about the war and then Mackie's like, yeah, it's the war of the best. And I was just like, is that what it's called? Because they've just been fighting this whole time. Yeah. Spoil your king. Yeah. So they, they, they named it the war of the best when it was over. So I just want to throw that detail out there. Um, but then uh, Blackbeard then tries to sink Marine Ford with his newly acquired tremor powers, right? And uh, and he unleashes the sea quakes and all the earthquakes of all many kinds. And while all of this nonsense is happening, um, there's shit going on with Buggy and his crew and uh, Jim, go! Bay, Jim Bay ends ends up, you know. Um, uh, getting out of there with Luffy and uh, the 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 motherfucking red haired god himself. The uh, god. Oh, you the, missed it. Wait, wait, wait. You missed no, it. No. Uh, Law is here. Yeah, I know. No, but uh, uh, Jimbe caught a straight too. As yes, yeah, Jimbe, Jimbe, Jimbe got Jimbe hit got. with the light. Yeah, they they were sh- they were shooting. He caught, at, he at caught a straight. Woo! Yeah, he got he got hit. Luffy got. Injured, in uh, he got hit in the chest. Oh, yeah, I skipped over the part where he got hit in the chest with the lava, right? So now I know where the scar comes from. Um, and uh, and then Jim Bay got hit with a stray bullet, you're right. And um, and Shanks shows up to end the war, just point blank, period. Ooh, Ben the, the, the Begman. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga's like, oh, <laughs> that nigga's like, ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And Ben Beckley is like, nigga, I swear to God, you move, nigga. Move. <laughs> move, nigga. <laughs> that nigga Ben Beckley is funny. So, um, so Shanks shows up, and Law also shows up with his crew in the submarine. And uh, while Shanks is uh, talking to Sen Goku about ending the war, um, Law it, Law shows up with an interest in helping Luffy. So Shanks is able to convince um, Buggy, who um, who caught Jimbe and Luffy in midair. He's able to convince Buggy to bring Luffy his hat on the submarine after he agreed to drop Luffy and Jimbe on the submarine after have, like debating about it for way too fucking long. Um Shanks knows that he doesn't want to see Luffy just yet because uh, he knows that it'll break his promise that they made to each other. Um, So, so he lets Luffy, you know, sail off with law uh, and gives him back the hat. And that's when uh, Shanks wants to end the war. And I think, uh, either right before that or right after that, uh, because I'm I think my I might have missed my bullet point up. Uh, Kobe is having the only panic attack. It's before that because it was before that. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Kobe was having a massive panic attack because the Marines were still uh, attacking Whitebeard's pirates as they were trying to flee. After Whitebeard uh, had told everyone to leave because of you know he knew he was going to die, and Kobe was shouting at everyone, you know, saying like it's it's already too much bloodshed how many more people have to die because we're unsatisfied with our own victory and i kind of was not having that (laughs) yeah no i kind of real nigga nigga spittle he was talking and that's when shanks pulled up and and did the whole i'm here to shut you down if y'all trying to fight you can fight us i'm ready to fight if y'all want to fight Niggas was like, no, you forgot, you, forgot to, you forgot to mention. You forgot to mention that he just came back from fighting Kaido for like three days right before that shit. So the fight with Kaido had just ended, and he pulled up. Kaido was about to pull up. Kaido was about to pull up too. That's and why was like, you're not pulling up, kid. Stay right that's here. Why, that's why Shanks fought Kaido because Kaido was about to pull up to Marine Fort, and Shanks was like, nah. That's not for you, 
boy. You need to stay Lax, home. Stay, stay where you yeah. at right now. I'm going to go pull up. And he pulled up. But yes, he was so, fighting Kaido for like three days or some shit. Like yes, that. that was the detail they did say. I did forget that part. I'm trying to remember things. And usually what I do is I'm looking at like episode summaries to remember what the hell happened in all of the episodes. Because a lot of stuff is going on in this arc right now. So it's, it's like, hard it's to always, keep up It's with always it. like that, nigga. Like, from now on, always going to be like that. A lot of shit going on. on so every, everyone everyone basically manages to escape as soon as Sengoku is just kind of like, that's fine. You know, the war is over. Attend to the wounded. Get everyone out of here now. And that's it. Um, Law offers to save Luffy's life. Takes him with him. Says, I'm a doctor. Wasn't expecting Law to be a doctor. He don't look like a doctor. But you'll find out his backstory soon. Yeah, yep. I'm pretty not sure soon. I will. Not soon. And I'm, not soon. But you'll find out. <laughs> and then, uh, soon, and then Hancock says that she wants to shelter everyone um, at uh, at Amazon Lily, and um, they basically bring everybody there and. Granny Neon is just like, no, the men can't stay here. Luffy could stay here. None of the other niggas can. But the men can't stay here. They can't. So they they finally settle on them hanging out in the bay. Before you move forward, before you move forward, I think this had already, never mind, actually. I don't think this happened. Never mind. So um, they, they gave them like a little corner of the bay. The submarine was there in the bay, and they had to just stay there and do what they had to do. Um, and they were just waiting until Luffy woke up. You know, Jim Bay is up and about, but he's you know still in pretty bad shape. And Luffy is having traumatizing flashbacks and nightmares while he's recovering. And he wakes up and fucking just completely bolts through the fucking submarine. Um, he's on a thousand right now. He's screaming, where's Ace? He is panicking. He is having a hard time dealing with the fact that he was knocked out and is now awake and doesn't know where his brother is. Um, and that's when he you know, runs into the forest and Jinbei chases after him. He runs into, why are you looking at me confused? Freaking Mac, Mac was looking at me like I, like I wasn't telling the story. No, 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 you're good. I'm in my head, I'm moving faster than you are right now. You're you're good. Keep going. You're good. Uh, in the in uh, Luffy is incredibly frustrated. He's destroying boulders and mountains and punching trees over and he's he's destroying the forest. And that's when um, you know, he sees Jimbei and tells Jimbei, you know, like like I I pinched myself till I bled. Hard enough to know that I'm not asleep and it's not a dream, you know. And you know he's not taking the reality well. And Jimbei tells him, you know, yeah, Ace is dead. And you know he's 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 having his you know his breakdown. He's having his emotional moment. And um, now I'm already in Luffy's flashback. So. Yes, yes, yes. So now, uh, I that's what I wanted to. That's what notes. I wanted to say. I, I didn't want to say it if you hadn't been there. Yes, I was waiting for you to say it. But now you're I got an episode and a half into Luffy's backstory. Okay. So his Perfect. flashback is, you know, the days where Garp brought him to Dadan's house, and he met the bandits there, and how he wanted to befriend Ace, and Ace wasn't having that shit, and Ace fucking bitch smacked him with a pipe off a of bridge <laughs> and uh all types of crazy shit and then um you know i i fell asleep when they're introducing uh sabo the, the episode is here here comes sabo the boy at the great terminal so that that part of the island where it's just lawlessness another goat the junkyard so uh, I might have to start this episode from the beginning again because Probably. I just don't remember it. Yeah. So I know that I, just from looking at the episode list, I could tell that there's a, a lot of backstory stuff that's going to be here for a couple episodes. Yeah. Um, oh, which like, is fine. Is it like, like ten episodes? Ten, so seven like, episodes? 
it's fine. It makes it makes sense so. because it's going to give us a little bit more about Luffy, and then you know, kind of make the impact of Ace dying a little harder for the the viewer or the reader. Um, but that's that's basically where I'm at. So I'm in Luffy's flashback. I'm getting to see the bandits that raised him and Ace, and then how they started their relationship together, and um, you know, just what Luffy discovers and kind of. Uh, you know, is figuring out, you know, he's already fighting with Garp talking about, I'm going to be a pirate. I'm going to be king of the pirates. And it's just like that damn Shanks should not have an influence on you. You're supposed to be a tough Navy soldier. You're going to be, you guys are going to be Navy warriors. And, you know, he knows that neither of them want any part of that shit. So it's, 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 just, it's cute because of the, the com the comedy, the banter between Garp and Luffy. But, um, that's it. That's where I'm at. I'm very curious to see uh, what else is important to learn about Luffy's backstory and 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 where he comes from. Because if it's only to uh, iterate his relationship with Ace, I kind of feel like we got that, and it already hurts to see Luffy's reality. So, you know, like if it's just for that, I don't think we need too much of the flashback. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's going to be other stuff. Wake yeah, up, Sean. I hope you're not looking at us to uh, to, to confirm or to, deny. Oh, to, I, I usually look at you because you you unintentionally confirm or deny everything <laughs> I say. You I'm unintentionally confirm it. What I will spoiler confirm king. That, by the time time you come back, shut the fuck up. That's, <laughs> yeah, I told you. I told you. I say. I say. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> spoiler Listen, king. <laughs> when um. The next episode, oh, actually, next time you come back, you'll be you'll be at the time skip, bro. So uh, what I hope is, I hope that uh, the the girls in Amazon Lily are gonna actually like train Luffy on how to use his hockey. Okay, because they obviously know how to use hockey, and um, everyone knows that Luffy has conqueror's hockey, but doesn't know how to use it. So no. Okay, that's a good assumption. Let's a, let's a, let's a, see. <laughs> the fucking Crispin's having the, the only dance over there. Yeah, bro, because like, you're like at the time skip now. Like it's about to be, it's about to get lit, nigga. So I guess well, I guess that's it. So I guess they don't they don't link up before the time cool. skip. The crew. Oh. oh, we don't know that. You gotta figure that out, nigga. What the fuck? I don't know. What the uh, fuck you asking us, nigga? Did I write because, the story? No, nigga. Watch it, nigga. Listen. Fuck. Listen, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, yeah, before we, before I do the One Piece drops, again, bro, you're at a good space. Uh, you're halfway through the anime now. It took you only a year. By next year, you'll be uh, at a thousand. So, <laughs> and, and then there'll be like two hundred episodes after that. That I have. Yeah. <laughs> but bro, that's a lot better than you know. You started and you continue. Most people didn't even. By get By the past time he catches up, we're done. <laughs> Like the story. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm, no. joking. I'm joking. No way, no way, no way, no way. But um Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I give it fifteen hundred of episodes. Yeah, I give yeah. it fifteen. No. Maybe twelve. Twelve. Like, maybe like around twelve to thirteen, maybe. How however long I think it's gonna go on for another like five years from now. But anyway, you're at a good space. You're almost done. Um, after this is uh, Fishman Island, so <laughs> you finally get to go. <laughs> Yay! It's, it's, all, it's only been like three arcs <laughs> since they started talking about it. Um, but yeah, bro, you're you're in a good space, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I say this shit every episode. Who is right now, right from the War of the Best? Since you finished that, who was your favorite character of the War of the Best? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah, that is a good question. Uh, is it yes, like sir. from new characters? Like, we want to be specific. Yo, Shawnee, like, get the Shawnee, fuck out of here, boy. Fuck, bro. I'm about to ask everybody the same question. Nigga, go run away. Sorry. Uh, what? 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 What did you say, John? Uh, you want me to? You want me to bring up like new characters or and anyone? Every any contender? Character that was in the world war of the best. Who was your favorite? Jesus, I don't really mm. pick favorites. I mean, I I I, I fell in love with uh, the design. Guys, nigga, bro. I I fell in love with the design behind Marco's Devil Fruit, that Phoenix fruit, 
was absolutely incredible to see in action. Um, so I really, really, really like that design and that concept. I thought was awesome. Um, I did enjoy seeing like how unique the commanders and their abilities and their fighting prowess was. Um, I thought it was incredible to see Whitebeard just completely, um, you know, decimate even after being stabbed through the chest and have a hole blown through the front of his chest and to just be ganged up on by like, so many soldiers. Like just to, just to see him decimate the way that he did in that fragile condition was something something on another level, which is just like, it, it makes you wonder, you know, like how, how strong other pirates of his caliber, maybe not of his same strength, but in his, in his like league really are, if he was his, that fucking strong. Yeah. That part, yeah. So his his beard, you know, we haven't seen Shanks in action, but for Sen Goku to show him so much respect, said, "I'm only agreeing to this because it's you." It's like, all right, well, why the fuck makes Shanks so special? Why why is that? Well, what's the insider here that nobody knows about? Like, what the fuck did he did he uh, rescue your nobody kitten knows from about. a tree? Like, I don't understand. Like, but I guess well, he's I that guess strong. He's so. Okay. so you still haven't I don't given know, me I like I, because the, I don't really I don't really have like a particular I guess we could just say Marco just because I I just it stands out the most to me. Um but I really I really liked uh different players for different reasons. Like I still I still like um Ivan's character a lot too. Ivan Kov. Ivan Kov. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I, I really feel like he contributed really well to the story and to that fight. Yeah. His big old fucking head. Big ass head. And bro. his death wink. Death wink. Cling, 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 cling. <laughs> like this nigga was <laughs> crazy with that shit, but. Yeah. All right, uh, uh, Crispin, who was your favorite during the war? White beard for sure. sure. White beard? Sure. Yeah, this nigga was an old man, 75? Yeah, 78? Like, yeah, he was in like the 70s. That? Yeah, he was in the 70s. With respiratory problems. Nigga was dying before. <laughs> he, he, was, he was dying before he got hit. He said my respiratory was, problems. <laughs> my man was dying before he got touched. He was definitely then, on the oxygen for sure. Then his kid gonna stab his shit. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I'm already down, and y'all niggas haven't even touched me. And when I go down over there to fuck you up, y'all niggas is still scared. Nigga, what if I was 20, nigga? What you niggas about to do if I'm in my 20s, baby? You know what I'm saying? My man's was the, the dude, bro. Respect. Everybody show him respect. Every single person there except that kind who showed that nigga respect. Yeah, every single person there except a kind who showed that nigga respect. I kind of was not having it with nobody. I want to know what the hell him. makes him so fucking bitter. I want to know his backstory. That's the backstory I want. Kind of right. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a bitter motherfucker. Everything, nigga. This nigga's bad. Oh, you breathing next to a pirate, nigga? You need to die. Like what the fuck, nigga? Like, <laughs> he has me in his ship. I'm a I'm a prisoner, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a prisoner. We have, we have no use for you. For you, you a weakling. How you get caught? You should have died. What, nigga? What? I kind of bug it, bro. That nigga bug it. Yeah. That he, he's 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 a he's a definitely he a strange he, fellow. He does not respect no one. He don't respect his people. Yeah, but I, I I I'm curious to see how watching because they didn't really fight much at all in it but how watching the war of the best will affect kobe and helmeppo so i know that it's definitely affected the hell out of kobe he's been dealing with a lot of trauma and he's you know beating himself up for not having the the courage to fight as a as a as a marine or as a as a navy soldier and you know that he. All I know is that that nigga got bopped. He he That's definitely got punched in the face by like the I person said. that inspires him the most, right? Um, so I'm pretty sure that that is 
a, a, a motivator for him to want to get stronger, right? Which I feel like is going to be his push to his next level is I need to keep training with Garp because I'll never be up there to challenge Luffy in the condition I'm in. So I know that eventually he's going to want to show Luffy how, how much stronger he's gotten since the last time they saw each other. Mm-hmm. But I just want to know what that's going to do for his character. You know, like how long does he decide he wants to be in the Navy before he realizes, you know, like, you know, like who he's cool. really fighting for? You know, like because obviously <laughs> we can tell that the government has a whole lot of things that they don't tell the world. And they also don't always agree with the commands from upstairs. And there are some people that genuinely believe that they're fighting for fighting world justice. World justice. I kind of bitch ass. Bitch ass. Are, I don't really. I don't really give a shit about justice. I think he cares more about power. You're, no, you're, he cares more. He cares more about how the navy is perceived. Yeah, power. Yeah, you're. Um, a lot of the questions you're asking, good questions, my boy. Write them shit down. They still don't got answers though. Some, <laughs> some, 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 some of them, them do. do. I'm not gonna tell you which one, but a bunch of them don't. <laughs> a whole bunch of them yeah. don't. Yeah, a lot of them don't, but some of them, like one of the questions that you just asked, you, that that one gets answered. Um, Not in no time soon, but it does. It does, yeah. Um, uh, but for me, anyway, because I just want to yeah. close this out. Because yeah, right, like, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna get, out get out of here. Out of here so. Yeah. So for me, my favorite uh, white, uh, my favorite person in the whole thing is Vista. He was the fifth commander of the White Bear Pirates to do that fought Mihawk. The, oh, the, the, nigga, the, the all with the, the swords swords nigga with the flowers, the handlebar mustache. Yes, he, nigga? Was he was fire, bro. He was fire. Well, he was First of all, he was he showing was the hard. taco meat. I'm like, this motherfucker is crazy. Then he had the must. That's how I want my mustache. And, they, and then he's like, he my shit don't grow out like. like that, and, and his voice actor, his voice actor is hilarious. No, for sh- the English is fire too. So, so yeah, he was my favorite um, through the War of the Best. But again, John. You're at a and a very uh, you're at a very a very important part of the story. You finally learn Luffy's backstory, why Luffy became who he is. Well, well we I'm learning. Of, like, you're learning it. Yeah, we, we know we kind of know. Started. Yes, we we know that you know why he wants to be a pirate because he wants to know what the One Piece is, um, and you know Shanks inspires him to become a great pirate. But this is like how he becomes who we see today like how he got so strong and things like that so this is a really good part i know most flashbacks in one piece can kind of a little drag a little bit but this particular this flashback is was, was a really good flashback i yeah like i was yeah it's really good so um do, 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 do. i'm thinking shawnee's not coming back he said he had to leave. Without fail. Blah, 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 blah. It's fine. So, he's like, oh. let that shit drop. It's not, Zoro hasn't been in the picture for mad episodes. <laughs> he's not here right now. But anyway, um, you already know what time it is, Johnny B. Please escort us out of this podcast. Well, if you guys are listening to me talk shit right now, you're awesome. And we love and appreciate you. Why? Because it's the end of the podcast. Then you made it. You're here. We all here. We did it. We're hanging out in paradise together. And what you want to do when you hang out in paradise with us is you want to follow us everywhere you possibly can you're gonna subscribe to this youtube channel you're gonna like this video give it yep give it two of those thumbs up just like this being is holding right there give it one of those thumbs up and you're gonna share this video with friends and family that might also be interested in subjects revolving anime and video games because we talk about here on this channel you're gonna follow all of us individually because we're all fun to interact with on our social media platforms and then follow the podcast itself on all of its social media platforms we are everywhere instagram twitter tiktok the works yep paradise tv spelled for you down below follow the discord also for those who can for those who are listening 
for mm. those who are, are listening. Spell, spell it for them. Oh, par- paradise with a dollar sign. Seven S. For the S. P A R A D I dollar sign E T V. So uh, if you guys just so happen to be listening to us on Anchor, which is a really awesome platform, Anchor allows you to donate any kind of monetary amount that you would like to the podcast and any and all donations to the podcast will help improve the quality of said podcast for you, the listener. Uh, so once again, uh, we thank you for rocking out with us and let us know down in the comments. What did you think about today's episode? How do you guys feel about GameStop possibly being on their way out? Should they be on their way out? Is there any way for them to innovate and stay more relevant in uh, the gaming industry today? Let us know what you think. Uh, comment down below also about my One Piece experience. Tell me how you guys enjoyed watching the War of the Best uh the battle at marine ford and all of white beard's uh crazy glory you let me know how you guys felt about all that we can have one piece conversation these guys love one piece conversations and that's it we don't got no more time for y'all sorry incredibly sorry catch us on socials we'll holla at you later that's a nice straw hat hat facts that's a straw hat hat. yeah (laughs) and i'm gonna catch y'all later we out Peace. See?